Welcome to the High Voltage Light Electric Vehicle channel. This video is looking at the high power ASI kits that we make for the lightning rods family of motors. There are four different sizes of motor used with the lightning rods drives that go all the way from six kilowatts peak up to 18 kilowatts peak for the largest one. In order to power these, you need something with a bit more grunt than the back 855 that most of you will be familiar with. For people that don't know, Lightning Rods is an American company that makes some of the most unique light electric vehicle drive systems that you can get. If you're lucky enough to own one of the Lightning Rods drives, you'll know exactly what I mean. You're in a very select band of people here. These are definitely not mass produced things. They're developed, built, tested and assembled in North America. And the bikes that you can see in the background here are all powered by one of the Lightning Rods drive systems. We're not just talking about e-bikes here. Have a look at this snow bike, which has been developed by Corbin, and it's been clocked at up to 40 miles an hour. This incredible machine will be featured on the channel here in the near future. In order to power these vehicles, High Voltage uses the higher power ASI controllers. And we're talking here about the back 2000, 4000, and back 8000. And these are much bigger controllers that are built to push the amps that are needed to run the larger motors. We work very closely with Lightning Rods to make sure that we're producing something that's optimal and we built a dedicated dyno testing rig to get the very best possible tune for these motors. When you order one of our controller kits for the Lightning Rods motors, you get a fully plug and play package with everything that you need to get the motor running right out of the box. And we've gone to huge efforts to make it as easy as possible for people to get the most out of their Lightning Rods drive system. As with our other controller kits, we have a range of options you can pick from and you can use, for example, the cheaper full and half twist throttles, as well as the more premium options such as the Magura or Domino ones. Each controller kit is tuned to work optimally with the drive system that you have, whether this is for the Corbix or Ryzen frames, or whether it's one of the Elite frames or one of the tube style bike frames. And we will take into account the gear ratios that you're running and make sure that you get your desired level of performance. This uh, this back 4000, for example, is set up to power an XL motor with a left-hand drive system. And that's for one of the one of the Elite frames. We're big fans, of high voltage, of the variable regen system, and that uses a reverse throttle in the case of my Suron bike. You can also use a thumb throttle if you want for this, and we're looking at lever activated versions of this system as well. It's much, much more advanced than the more common um, throttle off or button activated regen controls because it gives you variable control over exactly how much braking force is applied by the system. And if you look at this clip, I'm going to show you now of Greg on the motorped bike, you're going to see exactly how regen is used to do all of the braking coming into this corner. With the larger controllers, it can be harder to get them mounted on vehicles. So we offer quite a wide range of options to help you do this if you want to. Um, this one that I've got here, this is designed to help attach a back 2000 unit to one of the narrower of the, of the Corbix style frames. And essentially you bolt this to the lower part of the frame and it keeps all of the wiring internal inside the frame. So all you really have is, is the heat sink showing to, to the external. And you can see that on the photo of uh, one of the bikes that Mike built personally. These parts um, are for with uh, two frame style bikes. Um, so these are adapted to fit a particular, particular width of frame. And each one of these is custom made to, to fit the bike frame as closely as possible. And there's, there's a bunch of different options um, for that as well. Um, this one you can see now is for the, the Super 73 style of frame. And it's where you have the two tubes on that style of frame. And it also work with frames that have like a flat area that you want to get the, the controller mounted on. And with all of these, there's, there's quite a high degree of customization that can be done to get the best fit for a particular project. It, it's something that I personally really enjoy doing and I really enjoy being part of people's 
bike builds and helping them get these controllers mounted. If you're interested in the Lightning Rod systems, you can get in touch with them directly via the links in the description or also via the High Voltage Discord server, which you're welcome to join. We'll also be happy to talk to you about any of the controller packages that we offer. If you decide to get a Lightning Rods drive system, you'll be supporting a North American business and you'll also be getting a really unique light electric vehicle that completely stands out from the crowd. A huge thank you to the channel members. Your contributions help make all of this possible. And thanks to everyone else for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.